Good morning, students. Today we will discuss about the concept of database management. Before discussing database management, first we need to know about what do you mean by data. So data is nothing but a, which is a collection of facts or it represents data represents the known fact that can be recorded and have the implicit meaning. Okay, it is a we will call it as a data is a collection of facts that should have implicit meaning, meaningless thing we won't call it as a data you should have implicit meaning and it can be recorded two things so it is a, a collection of facts with an implicit meaning and it can be recorded then that one we call it as a, a data so for example name of a person mobile number address account number so these can be we can be recorded and also it should have a specific meaning that one we call it as a data then what do you mean by database so database is nothing but a collection of related data. Okay, we know the data. So now the collection of related data will call it as a, a database. Okay, so that is student database uh, and employee database, faculty database, university database. A student database is nothing but a, a student, a student user name, address, phone numbers. Those are all a student data. When you collect it into a group, then that one will call it as a, a database. Then uh, uh, this database represents some aspects of real world called mini world, a universe of discourse, discourse, discourse. Okay, so changes to the mini world which reflects the data. Whenever it, suppose your our name has changed or your address is changed, your phone number is changed, automatically in the world, whatever changes you are doing, so it will be reflected in the database. Okay, a database is a logically coherent collection of data with some inherent mean. A database is a, a logically coherent collection of data with some inherent meaning. You should have inherent meanings. Okay, random assortment of data, we won't call it as a database. Okay, randomly if you collect that one, we won't call it as a database. The, a database is designed, built and populated with the data for specific purpose. It can be designed, it can be built, and it can be populated for a specific purpose. It has intended a group of users and some pre-convinced application in which these users are interested. Okay, so here it has in, you know, some specific user and some some pre-conceived applications uh, which the users are interested for that we are creating the database. Okay, a database has some sources from which a data is derived, some degree of interactions with the events in the real world and an audience that is actively interested in this concept. Suppose I want to develop a student database, what I need to do? I need to collect the, I gather the data from different sources, then after that I will create a, a student database from the real world. Okay, a database should be accurate and real, reliable in all times. Okay, a database should be accurate and it should be real, uh, reliable in all the times. Okay, a database, it can be any size and it may be a complexity also. Okay, so in it may be a 10 GB or it may be 100 GB, we don't have no issue. Okay, it can be any size and it should may have complexity also. A database may be generated and maintained manually or it may be computerized. We may generate manually or we may maintain. Uh, generate and maintain manually or it may be computerized. So nowadays everything will be computerized. A computerized database may be created and maintained either by a group of applications uh, or application programs written specifically for the task of database management system. In computerized database, we may create and maintain a group of application programs from that uh, we can create a database. Okay, so then what do you mean by database management system? Okay, we know the data, we know the database, and we know the, uh, uh, I know, we need to know the database management system. So DBMS is nothing but a database management system. It is a collection of programs that enables user to create and maintain a database. A DBMS is a, a collection of programs that enables the user to create a maintain and a database. To create a database and to maintain a database, we need one uh, software. That software will call it as a DBMS. The definition is it is a general purpose software system that facilitates the a process of defining, constructing, manipulating, and sharing database among various users and applications. 
It is a general purpose of software systems that facilitate the process of defining, constructing, manipulating, and sharing the database among various users. What do you mean by defining? Okay, suppose defining is nothing but a, a uh, what are the structure of that database? So how many attributes are there? What is the key attribute? Okay, so the, all those things uh, belongs to a defining. Okay, so what data types you are using to create that data uh, database? Everything can come into picture. Okay, constructing is nothing but how you will store the data. Okay, and uh, uh, what type of storage medium you are using? How you will store that data? The term we call it as a constructing. Manipulating is nothing but a updation. Okay, so for updation, for that also, updation process also, we need this DBMS and sharing the database among multiple users. The data should be shared among multiple users and the applications. So this is the a definition of database management system.